We're going to measure total duct leakage on the house behind me with this Minneapolis duct blaster. The tools required to accomplish this task are all here in front of me, and they will come in the Minneapolis duct blaster kit. We sell one kit that includes the DG1000 gauge. You can also buy the Minneapolis duct blaster kit without the DG1000 gauge if you already have one. The first step in a total duct leakage test is to turn the HVAC system off at the thermostat. Now let's cover all the supply air registers with duct mask. At this time, a decision must be made. We have to hook up the Minneapolis duct blaster either at the equipment, which in this house is in the vented attic above me, or we could hook up the Minneapolis duct blaster to this return air grill, which is a single main return in this home. Now, some applications, it may be easier to hook it to the cabinet itself if you were say in a basement and could get to it easily. In this home, with the difficulty of getting to the equipment, we're gonna hook it up to the return air grill. Now there's a few things we need to know. If we hook to the blower cabinet, we will need to mask off the return air grills. If we decide to use this return air grill and there was additional return air grills, we would need to mask off the additional return air grills. Using our duct mask, our squared around transition plate, and our flex, we're gonna connect our flex to this return air grill. Before we connect the duct blaster to the flex, we must decide if we are going to depressurize or pressurize the duct system. Currently as it sits, let's talk about how we would hook this up for a pressurization test. Okay. Now in that application, we would spin the fan around. We would have the sensor to the fan on the upstream side of the flow. We would put our calibrated ring, I'm using ring number one on the back side of the fan and hook it with a gasket. We would not need the Mitsubishi flow conditioner inside the transition where the transition will connect to the front side or downstream side of the fan with the gasket. Now that is the pressurization mode. Let's talk about depressurization for a second. We would then spin the fan around. Okay. We would install ring number one on the back side of the fan we would put the flow conditioner inside the round transition and then we would use one gasket to connect the fan. And then we would have the fan set up for depressurization mode. I am going to run this application in pressurization mode. Now that we've connected our duct blaster, we can launch our DG1000 gauge and go through the tubing assistant workflow. Select duct tightness, select total leakage, select pressurization, select that the gauge is inside the building, select duct blaster B fan, confirm your selections. Now you can connect the tubing as shown on the screen. While you're at it, go ahead and hook up power to the duct blaster fan. Let's crack an exterior door or window before capturing our baseline measurement on the DG1000 gauge. When that's complete, let's go ahead and make our ring selection that was installed on the duct blaster. And while we're here, let's go ahead and hook up the speed controller from the DG1000 to the fan controller. Now we've got the house and the fan ready to conduct the test. There's three different ways we can control this duct blaster fan below me for this test. Let's cover those now. 
Option one is to ramp the duct blaster manually by rotating the speed control knob on the speed controller. Once the desired test pressure of 25 pascals is reached on the left side of the screen, record the CFM on the right side of the screen. Option two, select the test pressure of 25 pascals on the screen and tap the play button. This will automatically ramp the duct blaster fan to the desired test pressure. Once the pressure is at 25 pascals, record the CFM on the screen. Option three is to launch the TEC app called Auto Test. Once the desired selections are made on the screen, conduct the test using the app. If you would like a report that is generated from the test from TEC, this will be the desired approach. When the test is complete, don't forget to put the house back to normal. Close the exterior window if you opened it, take the duct mask off the grills, set the thermostat settings back to where they were when you got here, and we're done.